Hey, we're the UVA Vault Squad and we're going to teach you how to pole vault. So there are three main components to the pole vault. First we have the approach or the run, we have the jump, and we have the inversion. The first part of pole vault is the run. We start from about 70 feet back, run as fast as we can in order to prepare for our takeoff. As you finish your run, you start to drop the pole and plant it into the back of the box. You want to make sure both hands are up tall and you take off in a good tall position. Okay, so after the plant, you jump up and you turn upside down and you look towards the runway and you let the pole shoot you up over the bar. Hi, my name is Maura Crennan. I'm a fourth year on the track and field team here. And I'm Christian Lavornia, also a fourth year on the track and field team. And we're explaining high jumps. There are different ways that you can do it. Um, I personally take a 10 step approach. So some people do eight, most people take five bounds in in, in a J approach. So I kind of explain it like a hook. So this is just obviously a few steps of it, but normally um, like my approach is 11 by 47. And I'm sure Christian's is comparable. You do a couple bounds in, and then after you take five, I do three, but normally people do five, and then you start your J, which is like the curve of it. And then, so it's really important that you stay upright, and then you keep your right shoulder back or whatever the, the farthest away shoulder. So Christian, it's the opposite. And you have to be upright, so you really feel your abs. And then you go like this, and then on the last two steps, it's called the penultimate, and it's, it should make that noise when you take off. And then you jump up, and when you're in this position, you should be about a little bit farther than arm's length away. This is called a takeoff spot. And so you're leaning away. Fetzer and I focus on looking at the crossbar because it really keeps your shoulder back, so you're in a really good position. And basically, it's kind of like a layout. You jump up and you drive up, and it's whatever knee is closest. And it's just you have to keep driving, driving, driving. If you stop here, you're not going to make it over the bar. So then you drive up, and then physics kind of takes the rest of it. You take off, you drive the knee, the drive leg will stay up in the air, and then the left leg kind of comes up to meet it. And then when you're over top of the bar, you kind of look back at the, at the bar and you see that you're over it. And then that's when you know it's time to kick your feet up and get the clearance. When I think about the high jump, I think about jumping as high as I can and bringing my center of mass as low as I can get it, which is why it's so important to arch your back. The more that you can arch your back and create a curve with your body, the lower your center of mass is. So over the bar, you're trying to get your center of mass as low as you can by bringing your feet and your head as close to the ground as you can on getting over the bar. 